Oh, um, I didn't see you there. So, welcome back to my channel. It's me and Reed, and today we have a quick video on three different streetwear brands. One is called Marty Vicious, the next one is called O'Donnell, and the last one is called Straight Out the Motherland. All three brands are created by three amazing individuals, and they are all small businesses. Make sure to look out for them. I'll leave all the contact information and website information down below in the description. So, let's jump into it. Hold on. Before I even start this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell down below so you don't miss another video. I'll be dropping videos weekly, and yeah, let's get into it. Wow. All right, so let's dive into the first brand. The first brand, again, is called Marty Vision. This one is created by my friend Sam. Her business, in general, she creates a lot of unique designs. She creates tote bags, sweaters, shirts, um, paintings, and like other unique customizable things. Um, how I met Sam, we used to go to the same summer camp. I knew, knew her since I was in, I was in my teenage years, probably like around 12 or 11, and probably a little bit earlier than that. I don't know. My memory is kind of foggy when it comes to childhood stories and memories stuff like that. But that's besides the point, though. Definitely check out her stuff, and let's talk about the first, the first Reaper brand. Um, this shirt I'm about to show you right now was mentioned in my previous video on the versatility of our Crombie and Fetch jeans. So if you miss out on that video, you can check out right here. I'll post a, a card right here, somewhere on the screen right now. But if not, I'll post in the description below. It has um, a spiderweb design. It has visions on the chest, and it was very, very light, and it felt really comfortable when I was wearing it. Um, I believe this shirt is 100% um, cotton, and cotton is very breathable material. So it was a go for me, and I highly recommend checking this out because this I don't see a lot of people wearing cream shirts especially with this unique design in the middle of it so I don't know I'm gotta be a little bit different out here if you want to be different you gotta move different so when you want to move different you gotta buy different if you want to buy different you gotta do your research so that's the first streetwear brand this second streetwear brand is called Adon, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this brand was created by my friend Pierre Riley. Um, we went to the same middle school and high school together. And long story short, I kept in contact with him and I seen that he started his own clothing brand. Uh, and he makes a lot of unique things like um, he makes sweatsuits, he makes um, shirts. I think he makes, um, I think he makes hats. Basically like he has a whole collection of different unique um, pieces. So that's pretty cool. One piece in particular I really enjoy. I like shirts, so I bought a shirt. Um, actually, I bought two shirts. So this first shirt is just a black shirt with his branding in the middle of the chest. Right here, you can see a Don right there, and he has his first name and script down below. And it's pretty cool. One unique thing that one unique thing I found out about on the shirt was on the left hand side, on the left side of the shirt, you have a unique little logo ADN which is pretty cool also on the tag we have that stays consistent as you can see right here ADN and we have a Don Pierre right there long story short this shirt is 100% cotton I previously wore this sh the white version of the shirt um, to do a photo shoot for one of my friends and I was in the Sun blazing it was it was blazing hot that day and I felt cool in that shirt I didn't sweat through it or nothing so it was it was good quality and I highly recommend checking that out. Um, so that's the second brand. The last brand, or well, the third brand, is called Straight Out the Motherland. Let me do a quick synopsis of the person who created this brand. His name is Mo. Um, we used to play on the same basketball team together. We used to go to the same school. Long story short, he started this brand and he started off with like a unique piece. Um, it was a, a sweater. And from that sweater, he pivoted into making hats tote bags mask um what else am i missing like shorts he has a lot of unique ideas and in my personal opinion he's setting the bar and setting the standard for a lot of like up and coming um what you call it for up and coming creatives and artists in general that's my personal take on that but that's enough rambling so we the third piece is a purple straight out the motherland hoodie um personally i really enjoyed the hoodies because they're very cozy and very light in general even though that they're light they're they keep you warm so we have on the branding we have so and we have the continent of africa africa is not a country 
there's one professor I had in my university that thought Africa was a country. I was just like, let me, let me just, let me, I'm, I'm just gonna leave right now because that makes no sense, child. And plus it was economics too. So like, how can you mistake? Anyways, so we have S O and we have the continent as like the first piece we have a spider um logo if you heard about the i'm not 100 percent sure but this is just my two cents on this piece if you hear about that story about like a nancy with a nancy the spider i'm pretty sure that's like african folktale that's the first thing that popped in my mind when i saw it on this particular piece and that's what i gravitated towards and that's what i'm trying to that's not that's my little two cents or that's my little connection to this piece in general um that's besides the point though so we just have the branding on top. We have in, in lettering his brand in general, shout out the motherland. Um, it's a nice piece. It's a very nice piece, a very breathable. It has like metal tips on the drawstrings. Hopefully you can see that. And yeah, it's a lot of, it's, the build quality is top tier. We have like on the, I don't know, a, what do you call these accessories with the tags in general? We have his, his new, um, one of his new um, logos in general like the hands um covering the whole earth that's pretty a unique touch and also i forgot to mention it has a spider a, a black widow spider on the sweater that's pretty cool so so that's all three new um streetwear brands that i've dabbled in there's a lot more i'll probably make a video on streetwear brands from like the bronx or just like the new york city in general i might say that for another day or another video but so we made to end this video i really appreciate it um Thank you for watching all the way through. Um, before I sign off, I'll leave all the information down below with like the website information, the Instagrams and stuff like that. Um, lastly, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on my post notification bell down below so you don't miss another video. I'll be posting every single week this summer, probably two times a week, depending on how much content I record and edit and upload. But with that being said, though, this has been Norman Reed signing off. See you next week.